the role of the cinematographer, how you best involve the cinematographer in a process. And uh, um, it's, it's challenging because it, it's different for every budget level. Um, some people have great respect for the cinematographer and are willing to involve the cinematographer in the beginning in pre-visualization work and then production, of course, and then um, to continue that involvement through post-production, uh, through color correction, uh, through consultation with the marriage of visual effects and the original cinematography. So um, there, there's a lot of discussion um, in the community in general about whether there should be a different title for what we do or when awards are given should there be an award for a traditional cinematographer and a cinematographer who shoots um, you know say Life of Pi where there's a, a very different role for the cinematographer and um, my personal opinion speaking for myself uh, is that um, there shouldn't be a division because um, every project is different and when you create different categories then you kind of have to arbitrarily put people into these categories and where do you draw the borderline for what is a visual effects film and what is a traditional film so I don't believe that we should um, have different categories but I think we should work very hard to recognize that filmmaking is a is a creation of collaborators and the collaboration of a cinematographer with a visual effects supervisor or the collaboration of a cinematographer with a, a production designer or, or anyone else should be honored and recognized and I feel that that is something that we should be doing and that's my personal opinion. Well, the main mission of the ASC is educational. I mean, it's an honorary society and you're elected to it, but our main job as we see it is to be educators. So uh, this year we started master classes for the first time, uh, a week-long series of classes for young cinematographers. Um, we've just finally brought out our 10th edition of the American uh, cinematographer manual, which will be both an e-reader and a, a big fat four pound book. <laughs> uh, and that I think is helpful to students to, to have as a reference. And, uh, and of course, um, our magazine uh, continues to do articles, uh, interviews and so on that are useful about to filmmakers in general. And I think uh, the American Cinematographer Magazine is kind of the magazine of record for filmmaking. It's been published 90 years and, and uh, it's a very valuable resource. And we're putting uh, more and more back issues online so that it's going to be a searchable database uh, for filmmakers. I think Camera Image is a is a great meeting place, but I think out of those meetings comes like I what I the answer I just gave you is part of a dialogue I just had with a cinematographer over breakfast, and we're arguing the merits of of, of the various positions in this, and and I think that's a great thing that comes out of the festival because when we I actually see uh, many people more in Poland than in Los Angeles. <laughs> I get to spend more more time with them here. So I think out of this ferment comes a lot of discussion that's good for cinematography in general and young people in particular. Um, it's important for me to come to the festival and see what cinematographers are doing all around the world. So when I'm on a jury and I get to see films from every country, I learn a lot about um, the process, the challenges um, that cinematographers face, and also the tools that they're using, the ways they're working. And all of this is good for cinematography because it creates a, a kind of knowledge base about how the work is changing. You know, filmmaking has never been at a fixed point. Filmmaking always evolves. It evolves not just uh, technically, 
but it evolves uh, creatively. And so what's in style, you know, in one decade looks old fashioned in another, you know? So, <clears throat> excuse me. So I, I think that the festival has a great role, a very unique role uh, in helping bring these ideas together at the seminars and in the screenings. Uh, and out of this gradually will come uh, uh, help in finding us uh, a new way forward into the future. Judging films is very challenging. Um, one doesn't want to say that's a great film but not good cinematography or, or vice versa. One always considers the whole. Um, when my uh, students come to me and show me the reels that they're cutting together, they'll say to me, look at this shot, isn't it great? And I'll say, well, yes, it, that particular shot may be great, but the acting is not good in it. So when a viewer, a producer, even a director looks at that shot and they see good cinematography, not good acting, they're going to see the bad acting and they're going to react to that. They're not going to react to it. So well because it's not a complete whole. So what we're looking for is a great film with cinematography that serves the story. And so, uh, yes, it's, it's a tricky task and there's never, I don't think, a perfect answer. One film could win on one day and one on another. All of the films in this category are terrific. It's really, show really hard work, really dedicated people who are trying to tell uh, a true story and I think you know true stories are the best stories um, so yes it's tricky judging them uh, and but as with all filmmaking uh, the film that that will win on Saturday I think will be a, a unique combination of the cinematographer's work and everyone else's work and the nature of the story that's being told